The first scene features an imprisoned man named Ray Bradstone, who is on the phone with a woman at the same time another prisoner arrives and interrupts the conversation Ray tries to avoid conflicts, but when the prisoner keeps on blabbering, he takes action with a single punch to the face he knocks him out a few days later Ray is finally released from prison after serving a seven-year sentence. Before leaving he hands some books he had been reading to the prison. Warden shortly after a man named Philip. Lero arrives in his nice car and invites Ray to rob a bank. It's revealed that Philip was his accomplice in the crimes he committed in the past. Philip tries to convince him to join him in another robbery, also offering him a ride in his car. Hearing all this Ray comes to a halt and expresses his desire to drive the car thinking Ray is convinced Philip lets him get into the driver's seat but Ray drives away leaving him behind when he gets to his place he keeps looking at a picture of his wife and daughter, hoping to see them soon after spending a long time in prison. He now decides to become a better person and give up all his bad habits the next day Ray goes to see his wife Lynn Bradstone and his daughter Sally Bradstone, despite the fact that she hasn't seen him in a long time. Lynn has a negative reaction and expresses that she doesn't want to be with him, she believes that he's irresponsible and untrustworthy because he's unable to fulfill his duties and responsibilities. As a husband and father while they're conversing Sally returns from school, and just as her mother, she's also bothered by his presence following. This the mother and daughter walk inside and close the door on him the next day. Ray shows up at Sally's school and apologizes to her, but she's still disappointed in him he tries to persuade her that he's changed for the better, and that he will always be by her side from now on however, she does not believe him and walks away coldly not long after Ray. Here's a sound of firecrackers, and when he reaches there he notices a bunch of schoolboys fighting he quickly divides the boys and turns them to the principal just then Sally's teacher Miss Miller approaches him, and the two introduce each other impressed by the way he speaks Miss Miller invites him to accompany them on a museum tour the following week, as a chaperone Ray immediately agrees, thinking it can be a good opportunity for him to bond with. Sally later in in the evening Philip comes to Ray and again asks him to join him in the robbery. However just like the previous time Ray declines, it turns out that in the past Philip betrayed him. And this was the reason Ray ended up in jail the following day. Ray pays another visit to Lynn, but this time he meets her current husband the two kiss right in front of him, making him upset after a while. Ray again tries to persuade her that he'll make his family happy however. Lynn claims that he won't be able to change anything, because he doesn't even have a job, recognizing that he needs money, Ray visits several organizations in search of a job, but gets rejected almost immediately, because of his criminal record application. His day is made even worse when he discovers that his apartment is on fire with nothing else to do Ray reluctantly decides to join Philip's team in their plan to rob a bank and the next scene we see Ray. Philip and two other compasses driving toward the bank on their way Goldie doesn't stop blabbering, so Ray explains that the only thing he enjoyed about prison was being away from all of them when they arrive at their destination. Philip and the other two put on their masks and break into the back while Ray is instructed to wait in the car for them, while waiting Ray happens to notice. Sally and her classmates boarding the bus for the museum tour, he then reminisces about the quality times he spent with her in the past, these pleasant memories make him realize that what he's doing now is wrong, and as a result he gets out of the car, tosses the keys into the bushes and walks away. Following this he boards the bus with the students and serves as a chaperone for their trip. When Sally notices him she becomes angry, and asks him to get off however he ignores her, believing that if he leaves he will lose his daughter forever on the other hand. Philip and the gang rob the bank and rush to the car with money only to discover that Ray has gone and the car keys are missing left with no choice they run away in an attempt to avoid being apprehended however, Dale runs in the direction of the school bus causing him to trip over and drop the money bag scared about being caught he leaves the bag and runs away, but just after a while, 
some policemen apprehend him and take him away meanwhile Philip and Goldie steal a car in order to flee, and while driving, they spot Ray on the school bus. Enraged at the betrayal they start pursuing him, but too. Their bad luck they accidentally get hit by a truck Philip then contacts the school and somehow manages to obtain information about where the school bus is heading elsewhere, Dale regains consciousness and finds himself in the hospital soon after two police officers confront him and demand information about the robbery as a whole. After the interrogation the police learned that the money bag is in a school bus that was parked nearby in the next scene Ray and the students finally arrive at the museum, but sadly, they learned that the tour guide who was supposed to accompany them has become ill, refusing to let his daughter get bored. Ray decides to volunteer and Go provides the students around the museum he appears to be knowledgeable about museums and animals because he's read a lot of books in prison while dealing with the students. Ray notices Philip and Goldie in the museum so he tells the students to hurry back to the school bus he also activates the fire alarm, prompting all visitors to rush outside after this. When no one is looking, he confronts the two in the restroom and beats them up, then he explains that he's changed his mind and no longer wants to be involved with them following this Ray drives the students to the next location of their study tour. After they arrive at their destination, he waits for them to get off and then searches the bus trunk surprisingly, he finds the bag containing money at first greed sets into his mind and he thinks of keeping it, but soon he remembers his family and decides to return the money in order to put an end. To this ordeal he calls Philip who's standing across the street and has heads towards them with a money bag, but at the same time police arrive, prompting the thugs to flee Philip and Goldie, suspect that Ray was trying to set them up, so they decide to enlist the assistance of a Mexican mafia gang in. Catching Ray the same afternoon Ray and the students drive to their hotel, and Miss Miller instructs them to quietly settle into their rooms as soon as they arrive, Ray takes the money bag and enters his room. He then calls Philip and asks him to pick up the money from the hotel where he's currently staying however Philip who believes that Ray double-crossed him, demands that he deliver the money to a more secure and hidden location as Ray. Continues discussing Sally arrives there and apologizes for giving him a hard time, then the father and daughter have a pleasant reunion after a long separation in the evening he takes her to a music shop and then a restaurant in this way, the two start sorting out all their differences in the midst. Of all this several detectives arrive at the hotel and question Miss Miller about Ray's whereabouts, they also inform her of Ray being a suspect in the bank robbery case, freaking her out a short. While later, Ray walks Sally to the hotel and suggests she spend time with her friends, particularly Josh, who seems to like her. Sally happily returns after having a good time with her father, but her joy is short-lived as she sees news of Ray being charged with robbery. Enraged she confronts him right away, claiming that she made a mistake trusting him again. But Ray is not ready to give up on his daughter so easily he tells her everything that's going on and this finally calms Sally down in the meantime. He notices the detectives nearby and realizes that he is a target, so he asks that Sally bring the money bag from his room. After obtaining the bag Ray asks her to join her friends. While he goes to return the money Sally agrees and starts walking back. But unfortunately Philip and Goldie abduct her meanwhile when Ray arrives at The specified location he finds three Mexican gang members annoyed that he was set up he releases a brutal punishment and defeats the three in no time soon after he receives a phone call from Philip who reveals that his daughter has been kidnapped, enraged Ray, warns him not to hurt Sally or it'll end badly but Philip is unfazed and instead he summons Ray to a secret location to make the exchange wasting no time Ray hails a cab and heads to said location, 
before getting off he hands some cash to the taxi driver, instructing him to drive away, as soon as Sally gets inside, as per the plan Sally successfully escapes and returns to the hotel with her friends but realizing that her father is in danger she decides to assist him, she enlists the help of three of her male friends, Josh Simon and Benny Simon, uses his iPad to track her father's phone, while Benny distracts the detectives with firecrackers, allowing them to sneak out of the hotel on the other hand Ray is restrained in a chair by Philip and Goldie because he has duped them with a phony bag painting dolls, Philip beats him up and demands the location of the money bag, but Ray remains silent a few moments later, Sally and her friends arrive at the location and divide into two teams, one distracting the criminals with firecrackers and the other untying. Ray in the midst of all this Ray contacts an acquaintance a radio announcer who broadcasts the voice recordings, live eventually the police as well as Lynn, hear the broadcast, and rush to the crime scene, soon after Philip and Goldie hold Ray and the students at gunpoint. Philip who is unaware that their conversation is being recorded openly, admits that Ray is completely innocent, and that they only wanted to take advantage of him, the two are about to shoot them all, but at the same time the police arrive and apprehend the two criminals, finally Ray is declared innocent, because he was on the bus with the students when the robbery occurred not long after Lynn also arrives, and gets relieved to learn that her daughter is fine but she slaps her ex-husband for endangering the children's lives Ray doesn't react and simply says that he's turned into a better person in the final scene Ray is at the radio station when he receives a call from Philip, asking for his advice on how to adjust to life. In prison Ray mentions the three essentials confront it be truthful and sleep with the bag against the wall, 